So before we can implement Bootstrap as our template, um, which we will cover shortly, we need to make sure that we are serving our static files. Static files are our CSS, our JavaScript, and our images. Um, so this is all the stuff that will be rendered within the browser uh, and not really used by Django a whole lot other than a few things. So um, to do that, there's a method that we have to do. We have to do if debug, then we're gonna do some things here. So if debug, meaning if this is true, we are gonna have some settings show up. And the first one we'll do is media URL equals to single quote slash media slash, and then we'll do static root and equal that to something and then media root and equal that to something else. Now it's actually gonna be very similar to this so let's go ahead and copy that. You can even pull that comma in and just make sure you delete it at the back part and then do static only for static root, meaning that's where all the files will be collected to. And then paste the it again and change it to media. So this is where media root is where like a user would upload a picture or something like that. That's where that is gonna be stored. And then we want static files dirs. And this is a tuple. It's gonna be similar to the template DIRS. Um, I'm going to paste that and just call it static. Now this is where you're gonna put your static file. So where you'd put your CSS and JavaScript. And then when you run collect static, it goes to the static root. Um, and this is useful for when you go to production, uh, when you wanna collect the, the static files to wherever you're serving the static files, which would be where static root is, okay? So now that we have these defined, we need to go into our static folder over here and create those folders. So new folder, media, new folder, static only, and new folder, static. Now again, this is something you do not wanna do when you go live. We will work on the live stuff later, um, but for now, for our local, our own computer, this works just fine. Okay, so we're gonna save that. And now we're gonna go into our URLs and make sure that you import these to right here. We're gonna do if settings.debug. So if those settings are true again, URL patterns, we're gonna add something to it. And I'm just gonna paste it in. So look at this this is what you're going to be adding so your patterns adds this static url and it's going to serve that static root file we want to do this one more time so press enter and change it to media url and media root okay save that and then back into our terminal we are gonna clear everything out. Make sure you're in the root of the project. Do python manage.py collect static. It's gonna ask you if you wanna overwrite the files. You're gonna say yes. Okay, cool. So now everything has been overwritten. And if we do a run server and we go back into our admin, do a refresh, nothing has changed. The static files should be shown up. Now, of course, if you didn't see this before, you should see it now. You should see Django ad administration. You should see all the CSS. And you can also do inspect element, go to head and click on one of these. You can even do it in a new tab. Uh, this will allow you to at least see all the admin styles. Um, of course, we aren't gonna go too much into changing the admin styles because we are gonna be using we are gonna be using mostly our front end stuff. Um, so not the admin, everything else, we will add styles and stuff like that. So in the next one, we'll add Bootstrap now that we're serving our static files and all that. Uh, Bootstrap, of course, is on getbootstrap.com. The version I'm gonna be using is 3.0.2. Um, definitely refer to this website um, for whenever you're gonna be making changes or anything like that. But again, we will 
visit that in the next one. So see you then.